Hey, Andy, Andy Heck loves flexibility and offensive linemen. And so I'm just curious, you know, is there a position along the line that you have not played during camp? And as an offensive lineman, how do you get yourself in the mindset of knowing that you might be pushed in to play at any position at any time? Right. Uh, well, I haven't taken any snaps yet, um, but I just, I've been playing both left and right guard and tackle. Um, I'm just trying to do whatever I possibly can to um, be ready for any given situation because you never know what's going to happen during the season. Um, but yeah, when it comes to actually like, you know, getting ready for those positions, I mean, that's instead of kind of studying, you know, one or two guys, I mean, you got to be ready for all across the line because you never know who you're going to be playing against. So um, that'll be a little different this year, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, with having the study, really, I guess the whole defensive line, I guess meetings will become more important. So I'm wondering, uh, how has the fit been for you in Kansas City with some of the other guys? You feel like you're really gotten integrated and, and part of this team now? Yeah, um, I absolutely love it here. I love all my teammates. Um, I feel very fortunate to be here. Um, uh, love the Chiefs, love the entire organization, the coaches, down to the players. Um I feel very lucky and I really enjoy playing next to these guys and uh, everyone's been very helpful and um, making sure I'm going in the right direction. And um, yeah, so everything, it's just been nothing but positive experiences here. Let's go to Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey Mike, appreciate you taking some time here. To kind of follow up on Matt's first question there, there's a saying in the National Football League, the more you can do. You know. Right. When did that hit you at your point of career? And how much pride do you take in your versatility? Um, yeah, so I, I think that's been incredibly important um, in my NFL career for sure because I started on practice squad. And um, at that point, you're playing every position, whatever they need, you're playing. And then, um, you know, early in my career, my main goal was just to be on the field. And um, so you just got to be ready to, to be thrown in at any position. And, and uh, so – being very versatile, especially for younger guys, is incredibly important. Um, I've gotten a lot of experience of playing multiple positions and starting games at um, four different positions. So um, uh, you know, that's been great, just having some experience to fall back on. But um, it's been, uh, you know, interesting um, going, you know, a different, different camp for me because I'm used to, you know, usually just kind of sticking at one spot. Um, so I've been kind of going around and then learning a new offense and then having to learn all the ins and outs for each positions. Um, it's, it's been a challenge, but uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun though. And um, looking forward to this, the season to finally start. We're almost there, guys. Let's go to Robert Rimson. Go ahead, Robert. Hey, Mike. So I asked Antonio this earlier. What's, your, what's been your biggest takeaway from camp, especially being one of the newer guys on the team? Um, well, I just, I love Coach Reed and I love his coaching style and I just, it all starts from there and, and works its way down. It's just, it's just a great environment here. Um, I've been, like I was saying earlier, I'm very fortunate to be here and um, love being here. And um, when the Chiefs offered me, I was like, yeah, let's definitely do it. I, I really want to just experience what it's like playing here. And um, the success that they had last year is, you know, it's behind us at this point and, and just looking forward to the season. And, um, you know, it's just a very hardworking team, very dedicated, hardworking team. We've got a couple more. Let's go Todd and then Nate. Go ahead, Todd. Mike, Antonio was telling us earlier that it felt like the in practice, since there's no games and there's yeah. no exhibition games or anything, everything seems like a game rep. Like it's been a different kind of feel at this camp. Now they're out there playing, you know, defensive back and all that stuff. Has it been like that in the line? Have they felt more like game reps? I know you can't have true contact. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's it's full go. And I mean, especially with no preseasons, I feel like the coaches have been trying to make the situations as game like as possible, just so we have experience. And we can kind of run through those drills, uh, certain situations, key situations that, you know, would probably come up during the preseason. Um, we've been going through those um, each day, different situations, and um, just trying to make each practice as game like as possible. It's been, uh, you know, getting a lot of reps and a lot of younger guys are getting a lot of reps too um, with, uh, you know, having 80 guys instead of 90. So there's a lot of guys that normally want to be getting reps that are getting a lot of reps during the um, practice. So it's good for them to be able to get some tape for the coaches uh, to evaluate because it's, it's tough not having the preseason games for those guys. Let's go to Nate to close it out. Go ahead, Nate. 
Hey, Mike, I'm just interested, from your perspective, learning those multiple positions yeah. in the new playbook and your previous experience, what's it been like to understand Pat's mindset in terms of the protection calls given where you are on a given rep as right. you try to get to know what the quarterback's thinking based on what the situation is, where, where they're where you are, um, if you are needed upon at a certain position? Yeah, so, I mean, number one is just knowing what you're doing on a given play. And um, I've been definitely getting some reps with the ones and um, just being able to watch film and hear him, how, how his brain kind of, how the protections kind of hit his brains and certain blitzes and um, just trying to learn those ins and outs. And, uh, yeah, there was a few times, you know, earlier that I, I was like, oh, I wasn't kind of expecting it, but um, yeah, we've definitely been working through those things. And um, and I think the big thing is just getting mental reps. Um, when I'm not in there, I'm sitting there next to Coach Heck, and I'm knowing the play, and I'm evaluating what I would be doing um, from the sidelines. So um, just always being ready. Mike, we appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us. All right. See you guys later. All right.